Hey guys, this is Victor with Victor Vector JKU. We're back for part four of the Evo Rock Skin Builder Corners and part three of the tube flares that I'm building. Today, we're gonna to be covering how I'm going about plating the top of the tube flares as well as capping the posts. Let's get into it. All right, so I just wrapped up cutting all the blanks out for the cap pieces for my tube flare. So what I did was I ended up just using the two and a half inch bar stock rather than picking up one and a half inch. So with that, I was actually able to cut for like this piece here. I was able to cut it and I had enough left over that I'll be able to use it for the other side too. And likewise, I've marked out all these panels to match for the other side. I haven't cut them out yet, just in case the tube lands a little bit differently in respect to the body. And I need to have to cut a little bit larger, uh, either length or width. But they should really work out to be the exact same if everything works out to be symmetric side to side. But I'm just going to be cautious with it before I go into cutting those other pieces out and wasting material potentially. I'm pretty happy with the appearance of it so far. Um, you can see I have each of them cut out and they have the respective angle cut in them. My Harbor Freight horizontal vertical bandsaw definitely worked out to be a very useful tool and made this process way easier. I was able to get a very straight line whereas in the past if I have to use my angle grinder or a jigsaw or something I'd have a lot more of a wavy line and it always kind of worked out a little bit harsh so definitely a nice tool to have. But basically what I have is I have them all laid out now so the next thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to make sure that they're all located approximately where I want them to be and make sure that they have the appropriate angle off the body. So the other night when I was cleaning up, if you guys haven't already realized, this is definitely taking me about a week or so to be able to get this project really all together uh, just for the driver's side because I'm working only a couple of hours every evening on it. But so I finally came up with the solution and I know I'm not the first person to ever come up with this idea, but I can't think of where I've seen it before, but it all of a sudden just popped into my head because I was thinking, do I want to just cap them flat? Do I want to try to roll them and kind of match a little bit and then form material to it to make it match? And then I thought about it, I was like, wait a second. Why don't I just use one of the blanks that I have from my hole saw and put that in place right there and then just break the angle. So say this right here is a 30 degree angle from a drop here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this at a 15 degree rotation and that's gonna break up the two directions a little bit and it'll make it look more like a radius versus just a hard point. So I think this is gonna turn out really good, but obviously I have to contour the metal to the tube. So that means I'm gonna to have to take a lot off the top and the bottom to make it so it matches the profile of the tube. So this way it can go in there and line up and so it's smooth all the way across. But I think this is going to work out really cool, so I'm excited for this too. So I'm going to go ahead and work on grinding this down. I'm going to go ahead and prep this material, and I'm going to start tacking and welding these guys into place. Alrighty guys, so I got my cap plates all cleaned up and I'm ready to go ahead and start tacking these guys down into place. Right now I'm using a digital angle finder with a magnet base. Just to figure out, I'm looking at about a 10 degree because that's what I cut the perpendicular tubes at is 10 degrees. So I wanna to try to match that as close as I can. What I'm gonna be doing is just putting down a couple of tacks and then once I've got them all tacked into place and I'll come back through and I'll go ahead and start putting down some beads of weld. And I'm probably going to work on separating the weld beads out a little bit, sort of stitching it together. I'll just do a few inch stitches or two inch stitches or something like that. And then before I jump into that, I want to go ahead and show you guys the coin that I made. So this is using one of the hole saw blanks from a piece of the one and a half inch tubing. So I went through and I had to grind it out a little bit, make it a little bit smaller. And then I also ground out the top and the bottom of this tube a little bit. And this is going to allow this guy just to sit right inside 
and that should make a nice smooth transition and then I'll just fill and weld all the way around the perimeter, fill in any areas that are a little bit light and I'll come back and grind it smooth. I think that should look really clean for a good finish up. So that's basically how that's gonna wrap up looking there. I think that looks pretty slick. Really finishes off, gives it a much better look. Now it is kind of obvious that it is a post because it comes out. It does bulge here, so it's not it's not completely hidden like it was an actual radius, but I think the appearance of this looks really cool. And I think it's gonna work just fine for me. Uh, I'm very happy with it. And the big thing here is that it's smooth across. So if I rub this up against a tree or a rock or something, it'll just drag across and I don't have to worry about it getting hung up, say like on a lip like this one here would. So I'm excited about it. Now you can see I got this one tacked in, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep working through and tack the rest of them in place and then I'm gonna come through and do the welding. Alrighty guys, so I just finished welding everything up. So we are all done with all the welding, minus capping off the tubes. But what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and start grinding down some of the welds. The welds all, for the most part, turned out pretty good, but because I had to do start and stops, there's little breaks and stuff, and I tried to flow the weld as best as I could into the previous. I mean, it's good enough, they're strong welds, and they're gonna do just fine for me, but I think it's gonna look best if I go ahead and clean this up and make it smooth, so that's what I'm gonna shoot for. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, as well as prep up the two bends, get those ready to be able to do the caps like I did on this one here. So I'm gonna get back to it. Alright guys, so I just finished my first pass of grinding and ended up finding out that the flapper wheel on my angle grinder does a really good job of creating an inside radius like this. So I'm actually really happy with how that turned out. On the outsides here, it wasn't perfect, but I have a plan to fill this in and make it so it looks a little bit cleaner when I go to paint it. I'm really happy with how this is coming together so far, so the only thing I have left to do is just cut out the coins that need to fill in these other three posts. And then I think I'm just gonna do flat on the forward and rear or the two lowest points. And I think that's gonna pretty much wrap up basically the entire build that I have set up for this. guys so I just finished wrapping up capping off each of the different posts so what I did was just like I showed you I used the coins that were left over from the whole saw to cap off these four and I gotta say I'm really happy with how it finished off it has a very smooth finish and it kind of makes it look like it's just a bend now granted if you look at it from the side you do see the high points at the top of the tubes but it's really not that noticeable and it gives a, a good clean look I just used some flat stock to cap off the lower two posts here and here. And I thought that look was gonna work out just fine. I was thinking I could possibly cut these coins at a steep angle and I could actually have this kind of come back at a 45. 
but I was then looking at it and I'm like, you know what? I'm actually pretty happy because the way I have it right now is it comes back flush um, with the angle of the tube. Now I do have a little bit of gap around where I welded in the plate. So what I'm probably gonna do is come back with body filler there to finish that off. But that is gonna wrap it up for the driver's side. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, flip the Jeep around and start working on matching the passenger side of this. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video on capping off the tube flares. Hopefully you enjoyed today's content and be sure to stick around for the next video where I'm gonna be going through all the final cleanup, paint prep, and paint of these Evo Rockskin Builder Corners with my Fabdom tube flares. Otherwise guys, we are Victor Vector JKU. We are taking on this build and the trails, both direction and magazine. All right guys, have a good one. Catch you next time.